down is the 45 of Majeski. Let's hope he gets back on his tires here. In the 2020 Next Era Energy 250, the number 45 of Tommy Jeske flips over onto his roof and slides from the front stretch all the way down to turn one upside down. But new NASCAR fans might have questions about this crash. How did Majeski end up flipping? Why did the number 02 hit the number 45? How durable is the roof when sliding upside down for a while? Well, today I'll try to answer these questions to the best of my ability. It's 2020, and the long-named NASCAR Gander RV and Outdoor Truck Series is returning to Daytona International Speedway for their 20th annual running of a 250-mile race held just before the popular Daytona 500. This race wasn't too eventful, aside from the last lap where the number 98 of Grant Enfinger beat the number 3 of Jordan Anderson to the line by 10 one thousandths of a second, which is the closest finish in the NASCAR Truck Series. Anderson swings outside. He's going to get him. Jordan Anderson. And Grant Enfinger at home. It's going to be Enfinger. On lap 16, the number 38 of Todd Gilliland is bump drafting with the number 02 of Tate Fogelman. Bump drafting is a force done when one truck uses another truck's draft to catch up to that truck, and then pushes them. At Daytona International Speedway, optimal pushing spots are areas where you don't have to do too much work to control the truck or areas of high downforce. Literally anywhere but the trioval. Anyways, Gillen decided to push Fogelman through the trioval, and when exiting the trioval, Fogelman got loose. Fogelman had to go up the track to save his truck, and ends up clipping the number 22 of Austin Wayne Self in the process. Self goes down the racetrack at a rapid pace, trying to save his truck. He was not able to save his truck, and ends up hitting the number 45 of Ty Majeski's right rear quarter panel. Oh, no. Austin oh, Wayne no. Self, and upside down is the 45 of Majeski. Let's hope he gets back on his tires here. That thing's square on the roof. What a shame. Some people call this kind of flip a weight shift, as it looks like all the weight in the truck shifts to one side and tips over. In reality, when Self hits Majeski, Majeski's driver's side raised up into the air. As Majeski was turning sideways, his driver's side lowers again, putting more force on the driver's side tires. Due to how quickly his driver's side lowered, however, the passenger side rises up. Think of this as if you're in a streetcar and you get hit, and the car starts rocking back and forth. Essentially, that's what's happening here, just at 185 miles an hour. Anyways, the drag on the driver's side, along with the fact that the passenger side is slightly elevated, puts more weight on the driver's side tires. Eventually, the driver's side begins to slow down faster than the passenger side, which lifts the truck's passenger side into the air. The truck rolls over as the driver's side is essentially sucked under the truck and bounces on its roof a little. The truck rolls onto the driver's side window. Almost immediately after Majeski rolls onto his window, Fogelman runs into Majeski's hood while he is still upside down. Had Fogelman not hit Majeski, Majeski might have rolled back onto all fours or even began to barrel roll. But when he was hit by Fogelman, that pretty much put Majeski square onto his roof for the rest of the crash. Fogelman had just regained control of his truck a few seconds ago and was trying to slow down, but did not have enough time at North Space before hitting Majeski. Majeski's spoiler hits the racetrack and his truck hits almost all of Fogelman's driver's side door. Majeski will slide on his roof into turn 1 and come to rest upside down on the apron of turn 1. So what can we take from this wreck? Well, it's sort of difficult to see since they took photos of everything but the damn roof, but we can see the durability of the roof. While the sheet metal appears to have been peeled back a little bit, the general structure of the walls of the truck and the roll bars constructing the inner roof held up significantly well. I hope you enjoyed this video, this is a new series, I will start explaining auto racing flips. I'll mainly stick to NASCAR, but if you want to suggest a flip to me, be sure to let me know in the comments below. Thank you for watching.